Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In today's episode, we explore a proposal from scientists to extend flight times by 50 minutes as a strategy to help combat climate change. Scientists have come up with a novel idea to reduce the carbon footprint of the aviation industry. A new study says that flying slower and increasing flight time can cut down emissions. While the industry has a current target of achieving net zero emissions by 2050, that doesn't look feasible as of now, the researchers stated. However, with the new method, a 50% reduction in fuel burn can be achieved in the same year. The aviation analysis was carried out by the University of Cambridge, which lists out a series of sustainable goals that the industry can try to reduce its impact on climate change. As per the study, aviation currently contributes about 4% to the increases in the global warming rate. It adds that 2.5% of that comes solely from global CO2 emissions. The researchers stressed that extending flight times and flying slower will reduce fuel burning. They suggest reducing flight speed by around 15% to decrease fuel burn by 5 to 7%. However, the passengers would have to bear the brunt in this case as this method would add at least 50 minutes to their travel time. Considering aeroplanes are supposed to be a faster mode of travel, people might not be too eager to accept the change. The study authors have offered a way out. They say that the key to managing time is better airport organization, wherein wait times are reduced. Further, to increase flight time, planes may have to be designed to fly at slower speeds. However, implementing all this requires system-wide shifts. Besides, productivity might be hit and passengers are likely to be hesitant to book longer flights. The report will be presented to industry leaders this week in New York City. Aviation stands at a pivotal moment, much like the automotive industry in the late 2000s. Professor Rob Miller, director of the university's Whittle Laboratory, said in the announcement, Back then, discussions centered around biofuels as the replacement for petrol and diesel, until Tesla revolutionized the future with electric vehicles, he added. He added that the bold measures require a whole systems process change, so implementation is not happening yet. That's all for this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinions in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.